we've got an awesome speaker coming up, a good friend of mine, James Marshall. Um, he runs the only world's traveling 10-day boot camp through Europe. And uh, I've seen some pictures from this event, and it's pretty sick. Um, also, he's a founder, he is the founder and CEO of The Natural Lifestyles. He's all the way here from Australia. Um, he spoke at this event before, a second time, I believe. And um, he's talking today about multiple relationships. And is there anyone here who is not interested in that subject? No. One guy. Awesome. <laughs> cool. <laughs> For now, exactly. <laughs> so let's give James a hand to welcome him. All right. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Now, my name is James Marshall. I'm the founder of The Natural Lifestyles. Uh, we've been teaching natural games since 2006, well before it was in fashion, and we're still pretty damn good at it. I've just come off the back of about three weeks of non-stop coaching through Europe with my team and the one and only Sasha D game. And uh, what we do is we run this 10-day traveling workshop through Eastern Europe. And on this trip, the students tend to get laid, which is part of the, part of the point of it. Um, they don't usually do it on the first night, but something interesting happened on the first night on this tour. We had a guy who was of oriental descent, mid-30s, had, well I'll tell you a little bit about him. When he was 19 he met a lovely girl next to him at his university course, studying medical science. They started dating and for five beautiful years they didn't have sex. Uh, after five years they had sex and then they got married, had two children, started a very successful medical practice together and lived happily ever after until she cheated on him, took the business, took the kids and kicked him out on the street, which is where he found himself with us on the Euro Tour. Now, on the first night he met this awesome girl. Actually, it was during the day. He was doing one of Sasha's uh, wind-ups. And is it alright if I let them know the wind-up, Sasha? You sure? You're taking a percent though, right? Awesome. Um, well, you go up to a girl and you say, look, I don't want to be weird or anything, but... Uh... <laughs> and that, that goes on for quite some time. That's over. credit to Sasha Dagan. And this girl cracked up. She loved it. Um, they decided to go on a date that night. They went for a picnic along the river in Prague, very romantic city, um, you know, eating strawberries and cream. And, uh, you know, as, as the night wore on, they got a little bit closer and, you know, fingertips started touching and, oh, there was a lot of tension in the air and one thing led to another and at the end of the night she got in the cab and, and gave him a look and he said, well, I guess you'll be heading home, madam. And she went home. And then she texted him saying, I kind of wish you'd come with me. And so he wrote back saying, shall I? And then she wrote back saying, you shall. And uh, he went to her place, they had a glorious night of lovemaking on the first night of the tour, which was awesome. This was the second girl that this guy had ever had sex with. So the next morning we're all debriefing, you know, giving him props for that and everything. And he says, look guys, I just should let you know that, um, you know, I'm happy to come for the rest of the tour and, you know, I'll do the exercises, but I'm pretty much, I'm done now. And there's just silence amongst the group. And I see Sasha about to leap up and go, what the fuck are you talking about, you fucking pussy? And I place my hand on his inner thigh and I go, just hold it, Sasha. And I'm like, okay, so why is that? He's like, well, I've found the one. We all bite our teeth and I just say, okay, cool. For today, you found the one. Just do whatever you want. You're going to see it tonight, right? Yeah, of course. So that night, he takes a big bunch of flowers to her conceptual dance class, rocks up and gives them to her. And she stands there awkwardly and takes the flowers in front of all her friends. And then... Afterwards, they go and spend another night together and she decides she's got a headache and doesn't want to have sex with him. And the next day, she writes a message that ends with the words, take care. Now, if you ever receive a text message from a girl that finishes with take care, that means farewell forever. And it's a good one to use when you've decided that you want to, don't want to see a girl again. Yeah, that was heaps of fun, da-dee-da-da-da, take care, she'll get the message. Eight days later, we're in Belgrade in Serbia. The same guy is getting ready to go on a date with some smoking hot Serbian girl, and I said, hang on, Michael, wasn't, should you really be going on this date, considering, I mean, you found the one, right? So, and he's like, look, I gotta go, man, all right? So he got the point. 
Now, the reason I bring this story up is because what I want to talk to you guys about today are some different models of relationships, some different relationship paradigms that you may want to experiment with during the course of your seduction career. Most men follow this cycle, inactive single, which means you're single and you're not getting laid. That one sucks. Who's been there before? Keep your hand up if you're still there. Oh, it's fine. This is, this is the only one that you must get out of and never return to. But most men do that and then they go to monogamous relationship with pretty much the first girl that will let them take their underpants off. And then some years later, hopefully not 10 years plus children plus divorce plus alimony later, they break up, they go back to inactive single and this depressing cycle continues. I teach seduction for life. I am so bored and sick of teaching people how to walk up and stare at girls and stop them and go, hello, I look like Vigo Mortison. It's boring. <laughs> yeah? I've had enough. So what I want to teach you guys about is something more advanced. And when you get into this, at first what you're doing is you're practicing approaching. Now that's a really dangerous thing to do. Never go out and practice approaching. I was talking to one of Sasha's interns last night and he's saying, yeah, I feel like I've reached a plateau because I'm going out, I'm doing all these approaches and then it's not going anywhere. And I said, that's because you're going out to practice approaching, not to go out and seduce. Look always towards the end game. It doesn't really matter if you don't think you have the skills to get there, because you do. You innately have the skills to get an erection and place it somewhere wet and tight. Yep. So all the details you can figure out along the way. Yes, of course, over time, your skill uh, set will you know, become more subtle and crafted and wonderful and flowery and so on. But in the meantime, open, close. Keep that in your head at all times. But look well beyond that. What are you actually trying to do here in terms of a lifestyle that you're trying to build? 